Hello, I'm Jake Weldy from the GRASP lab at the University of Pennsylvania. Today I will discuss our paper, Coordinate Free Dynamics and Differential Flatness of a Class of Six Degree of Freedom Aerial Manipulators. In this work, our overarching goal is aerial manipulation, or deliberate physical interaction between aerial systems and the environment. In particular, we would like to perform the same kind of dexterous manipulation tasks that are possible for ground robots while leveraging the agility and unbounded workspace of aerial robots. The hummingbird offers inspiration from the natural world. Hummingbirds are able to maneuver their beaks with incredible precision during flight to draw up nectar from a flower or feeder. We envision aerial robots with similar abilities, enabling them to change from passive data collectors to active agents in the environment. There has been extensive prior research in aerial manipulation, and we mention only a small sampling here. Several examples of tracking control for multi-degree of freedom aerial manipulators have been shown in the full 3D case, but without mechanisms for planning dynamically feasible trajectories taking advantage of the degrees of freedom of the floating base. Several other works enable dynamically feasible trajectory planning for planar aerial manipulators via differential flatness, but not in the full 3D case, limiting the applicability of these simplified models. In this work, we develop a dynamic model of an aerial manipulator with two joints in full 3D and are able to plan dynamically feasible trajectories for a class of such aerial manipulators, enabling full six degree of freedom manipulation in simulation. The modeling and control of aerial manipulators is a challenging problem due to inherent aspects of the system's dynamics and actuation. Firstly, many prior works linearize the configuration space using Euler angles to represent the floating base orientation resulting in equations of motion that are singular in some configurations. Additionally, the coupling between the various rigid bodies of the system results in complex dynamics, especially in 3D. Finally, the underactuation of the system means that the base cannot counteract an arbitrary disturbance wrench from the arm, making dynamically feasible trajectory planning vital for any maneuvers that are not quasi-static. In order to derive singularity-free equations of motion, we use the generalized Lagrangian method presented in FROM 2012. This method first derives dynamics in local coordinates in the neighborhood of an arbitrary point in the configuration manifold. Then, because this point was arbitrary in the first place, we are able to construct global equations of motion by considering the variation of this arbitrary point instead of that of the local coordinates. The resulting equations of motion are highly complex and coupled. However, Using the method of Garofalo et al. 2018, we can re-express the dynamics in a simpler form as equations for each of three fundamental subsystems, namely the center of mass of the entire system, the floating base orientation, and the manipulator joints. These equations have sparser interdependencies, dramatically simplifying the analysis. We will now use the property of differential flatness to plan dynamically feasible trajectories for the system. Differential flatness establishes a bijection between trajectories in the state input space, subject to dynamics, and trajectories in another lower dimensional space subject only to a smoothness requirement. This means that we can take any smooth trajectory in the flat space and immediately map it to the corresponding state profile and open loop inputs that will nominally achieve that trajectory. We show that a certain class of six degree of freedom aerial manipulators is differentially flat with respect to the pose of the end effector. In particular, the system center of mass must be fixed as viewed by the end effector coordinate frame. Note that this is not as restrictive a requirement as it may seem. It can be interpreted as a design criterion requiring judicious alignment of each axis with the combined center of mass of all bodies inboard of that joint. An example of such a system is shown here. Next, we consider a sample task in which the robot carries a camera at its end effector. The task is specified by the desired pose trajectory of the camera. In this example, the robot tracks a desired viewpoint trajectory, such that despite the variation in position, the subject remains fixed at the center of the frame with the horizon level in the shot. Differential flatness allows us to map that specification directly to a dynamically feasible state trajectory and the corresponding nominal inputs.
In summary, we developed a coordinate-free dynamic model that is valid in all configurations. We can also determine the dynamically feasible trajectory corresponding to any physically realizable six degree of freedom pose trajectory for the end effector. To our knowledge, this is the first time that differential flatness has been demonstrated for aerial manipulators capable of full six degree of freedom manipulation. In the future, we will provide a formulation for arms with an arbitrary number of joints whose output space topology will vary accordingly. Additionally, we are currently working on dynamically feasible trajectory planning for aerial manipulators of arbitrary geometry, even those not satisfying the geometric criteria in this work. Thank you so much for listening, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have.